Well, it's a win, Greg. Yeah, it was a win. <laughs> and it was tied at 17, and then Nebraska dominated the last 10 minutes to fourth quarter. Yeah, it, yeah, it was a lot. Uh, it was ugly in the first half. Um, and uh, I think Nebraska made some changes at halftime and uh, really kind of came out, uh, fired up, and and pretty much dominated that whole second half. So, um, you know, you'll take it. Uh, but I, I just where from where I was, I was in the end zone. Um, standing next to a state trooper as uh, it's going into halftime, tied at seven. And I, I I was talking to the trooper, and I was like, I wonder how many of these people that are leaving right now to go out uh, for halftime are going to come back. And you know what? They came back. So, um, yeah, Nebraska played well in the second half. Uh, you know, the defense picked them up a little bit. and um, Yeah, they finished it out, and – I think it was a tough week anyway, just leading up to the game with, uh, you know, the travel lag from coming back from Ireland and a lot of people got sick. I, my, myself, I got sick as well. Um, the day after we did the show last week, I wasn't feeling very good. Um, and I'm still not over it. So, yeah, you know, there were a lot of things that went into, I, I think, the performance in the first half, but, uh, you know, at least, it, hopefully, hopefully, and this is just me saying and, and, and some other people's opinions uh, that maybe uh, uh, their performance in the second half got them excited and, and, and they're ready to go for Georgia Southern here uh, this Saturday night. Well, Greg, here's one thing that uh, has been figured out about this football team. We talked about the running back position the entire offseason and tried to figure out who's going to get carries and how is that all going to get worked out. Well, Anthony Grant, he's the man. He is yeah. the man, and uh, <laughs> he was dragging folks all over the field on Saturday. Well, yeah, he's already proven it two weeks in a row now. Um, you know, he actually he won the starting position back in spring ball and uh, you know, they, they kept saying it was an open competition, but he's been the lead dog there the whole time. And, um, you know, you're starting to see just such a special player that he is. And and I hope people understand the, the kind of the meat grinder that this guy has gone through uh, throughout his college career. I mean, he's a fifth-year junior right now, um, and he started off at Florida State. And, uh, you know, when, when there was a coaching change there at Florida State, um, he basically was shown the door. And um, then he went to JUCO in Kansas and uh, had an incident there and uh, ended up having to leave there and ended up at, at, at uh, New Mexico Military and was the junior college player of the year last year. And you, you can see why now. You, you can see why. And it, it's kind of funny how he kind of landed into Nebraska's lap. Um, and so, yeah, he's been a special story. And, you know, it's kind of funny. I mean, people are already kind of anointing him and everything. It's two games, but you know what? You can tell when a dude's a dude, you can tell when he comes to walking into the door. And um, he's got that kind of potential. And um, it, it's going to be exciting to see. I mean, you know, granted, that was, that was a pretty pr impressive performance against North Dakota, but, um, you know, the, the competition's going to get a little bit stiffer, but he showed it against Northwestern as well. So, um, yeah, he, he's definitely the lead dog now in that running back room, and A.J. Allen's also proven himself to be a pretty solid number two guy that's also very talented. And, um, you know, today at the press conference after practice – this morning, Mark Whipple, offensive coordinator Mark Whipple, had been asked about the running backs. And um, he'd also said that, um, you know, uh, Jock had a good practice week. Gabe Urban been having a good practice week. And, um, you know, Ramir Johnson's that one guy that's uh, kind of left out there that everybody keeps asking about. And, uh, um, you know, you want to start seeing him get involved obviously because he's a very talented player, but, um, 
yeah, you know, they're going with what they got right now. That That's basically the hot hand. And, and obviously Anthony Grant has turned into a, a pretty darn good looking running back in all of college football uh, through two weeks of play.